It's uh, really dark. <laughs> what? Mike coming in clutch. <laughs> Anyway, we got started a few minutes later than we wanted to. We were supposed to be on the road by about six and um, it just didn't work out. But we have coffee and the coffee cup this time actually fits into the cup holder. Last time I took a road trip with Mike, the coffee cup did not fit into the cup holder and it spilled about three times. So Mike warned me. <laughs> Who's counting really? What does, does it matter? Anyway, uh, Mike and I are up early because we're headed to visit a big project that we're working on, but it's right around Charleston, South Carolina. Um, the guys have been down there for about actually a week now and have made really good progress. I want to go down there and kind of get an update on that. Yeah, it's a road trip today. So we're here at the first two schools. There's three total schools that we're converting um, all of the, the locking hardware in. We were able to bring all of the door hardware down and leave it in the trailer to make it easier for our teams to work on it. Uh, we're gonna go inside and see exactly kind of what they were doing and, and what it was all about. Then we'll go to the third school and really check out uh, what they're working on at this very moment. Every single one of these openings are tagged. So several weeks ago, months ago, I guess, um, the, the team came down and they identified every single door uh, with what was on it, what it was called, and then uh, they were able to use that as a reference point to be able to identify each unique door. So as you walk through the place, you'll see all of these st stickers. So this is the old unit lock. This is uh, this is the old style lock. They removed all that and then converted it over to this. It's interesting um, from a large project management standpoint, Mike, because there's so many doors in, and it's like a big maze in here. Oh yeah. That having a good organized method to keep track of everything and make sure that it is done um, in a in a organized method so that you don't miss any doors i mean you've got you've got closet doors here there's whatever that door is over there and it's just it's just non-stop wherever you go it's just halls of doors and doors and doors so having the ability to keep track of all of those with with these door stickers and a some type of a checklist or whatever the case may be i just got lost and i think we just walked around the big circle yeah. But I guess the biggest thing is with what was coming down prior and, and sticking on the doors was finding the function of the lock mm. because there's multiple functions in here. Yeah. So the function of a lock is basically if it's always locked or if you can lock or unlock it with a key or a push button or whatever the case may be. And so that was something that they had to identify ahead of time because they were replacing, obviously, um, there's more. They were replacing all of these locks, so it required... A, a large effort of prior planning. Hey Mike, you think we could find somebody to stuff in one of these lockers? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Mrs. Levi could fit in one. <laughs> Levi, come down here now. We're going to stuff you in this locker. <laughs> this is a massive undertaking of really just two massive schools replacing tons and tons of door hardware in an organized method and really trying to give this school a better uh, level of security when it's all said and done and really a better organized method because now they will know everything uh, that's on the doors and uh, how it's all keyed and we've got a real good um, real good system to keep all that stuff organized but really great project here we're going to go visit the third school momentarily <laughs> Sergey working over there on on that opening, but each opening is is tagged with this this 
sticker ID. With their app, they can scan the opening um, and it will tell them exactly kind of what's going on with this opening. It'll help give some unique identification. Um, it even has a picture of the door. So just down here in Summersville, South Carolina, checking on the progress of this project. That's uh, the trailer and the truck in the background. Uh, we're getting ready to move a bunch of extra boxes and so forth. The entire trailer is full of lock boxes because I think they're changing out about 300 specific lock sets and about 600 keyed locks for the entire project. It's a lot of doors they're touching. There's a lot of different things happening simultaneously. The really neat thing, this was the second project that I've been on in just the last couple of weeks that we walked onto the project and everything was under control. Everything was run running smoothly. There was no chaos. There was no confusion. Everybody knew what they needed to do, where they were supposed to be, and they were executing it, which is very exciting. And it's a very big testament to our project management and some of the things that that we've really, I guess, over the years worked really hard to try to eradicate that that chaos and that scramble because over time it can wear on everybody's everybody's nerves. So really impressed with the guys down here, Josh, Sergey, um, and and the crew that's down here working, just doing a fantastic job, and uh, really impressed with with what they're what they're doing here um, with these three schools. Let's go check out on the progress of the the cardboard, and uh, we're gonna head back to Charlotte. <laughs> 